Exploring foreign countries with that diverse nature and culture isn't always possible for different reasons. When that happens, I enjoy watching travel videos to inspire me to help me plan a trip or to simply travel virtually to places far away. Welcome to Dream Destination and today we are counting down our top 10 places to visit in United Kingdom. The United Kingdom, which is made up of England, Wales, Scotland and Northern Ireland, has long been a popular tourist destination due to its gorgeous scenery, historic towns, top-notch museums and outstanding theatres. Throughout the year, the United Kingdom is flooded with tourists. The country is known for its Scottish scenery, British royal family, the Beatles and a number of castles and forts. You can enjoy a performance on London streets or simply take a train to one of the university cities such as Oxford to learn about the history and traditions. There are hundreds of places to visit in the United Kingdom, but only a few stand out. So here is a list of the top 10 places. Number 1. London it is a fascinating city rich in history with museums and art galleries, lovely green parks, excellent shopping and dining, and a vibrant theatre scene, and of course royalty. London is definitely a city with everything. One of the most significant places to visit in London is the Big Ben. It is the name of the clock tower which is located near Westminster Abbey. It is 100 metres tall. The place was declared a UNESCO World Heritage Site and is visited by many people each year. The London Eye is another main attraction. This popular wheel offers a panoramic view of London and its horizons. Number 2. Lake District The mountainous Lake District is England's largest national park. It's one of the best spots to visit in the UK if you really want to get away from it all. It's easy to see why it's a UNESCO World Heritage Site has inspired so many great riders, with Scaffold Pike, England's tallest mountain, and Wastewater, the country's deepest lake. People still come to Con and Stun Water to observe the green and pleasant views for a hiking trail, or to rent a paddleboard or a rowing boat to float around the lake. Number 3. Bath. It gained its name from the Romans, who built baths here because of the hot springs when they founded the city in 60 AD. The popularity peaked during the Georgian era when the wealthy gathered here for spa treatments. The city is known for its waters, but it is also a great example of Georgian architecture. Today, Bath boasts a vibrant culture scene, including live theatre and fine dining. It's a beautiful place to visit in winter because the Christmas markets are fantastic. Number 4. Cambridge. It is a historic city located 80 kilometers north of London and home to the University of Cambridge, one of the world's most prestigious universities. It was founded in 1209 and its students account for over 20% of the city's residents. After a tour of the university, visitors may like to take a boat ride on the River Cam, visit the Fitzwilliam Museum or walk across the Mathematical Bridge, which some argue is better than the bridges in Venice. Number 5. Cornwall. It's charming and quaint, yet rocky and isolated at the same time. It is located on England's southwest coast. It is a peninsula with rocky cliffs overlooking the sea on one side and golden sand beaches on the other. Without a doubt, it is one of the most popular destinations for a domestic holiday. In the summer, Cornwall is a great spot to visit on a UK road trip or with a camper van. Number 6. Norfolk. Think of sandy beaches, picturesque canals, laid-back villages and bustling market towns. Norfolk is all of these and more. This tranquil part of England located on the east coast is often overlooked by visitors, but it shouldn't be. The man-made broads have over 200 kilometers of lovely waterways that can be explored by both kayak or bicycle. The Golden Mile of Great Yarmouth, meanwhile, offers the quintessential British seaside experience. Here you'll find seafront arcades, roller coasters and fish and chip shops, which are perfect to nibble on if the weather takes a turn. Number 7. Edinburgh from the cobblestone streets to Edinburgh Castle that is symbolic of Scotland's capital, Edinburgh is steeped in history starting with the old and the new towns, which together contain 4,500 historic buildings. Edinburgh Castle, which sits high on top of a hill overlooking the city, represents Old Town and its rich history. The Old Town is home to Edinburgh's most famous street, the Royal Mile. Number 8. Bournemouth Without a doubt, its biggest draw has to be that long, beautiful sandy beach. Nothing says British seaside more clearly than a retro pier line with arcades and attractions. The Victorian Pier in Bournemouth is definitely a must-see attraction in the town. If you want to explore a lot of Bournemouth in a short space of time, the hop-on, hop-off bus and boat tour from city sightseeing is ideal. If you have a few days in Bournemouth and want to explore more of Dorset, you simply must take a tour to the Jurassic Coast. Number 9. Snowdonia. The national park is home to rugged mountain landscapes, glacial landforms and Wales' tallest mountain. It is unquestionably one of the best places to visit in the UK at any time of year. Mount Snowdonia, which stands at 1,085 metres, is the showstopper here. There is simply no other way to describe the stunning 360 degree view of the mountain, valleys and coast below. On a clear day, visitors can even see Ireland. 
Number 10. Giant's Causeway. It is Northern Ireland's most famous landmark and a UNESCO World Heritage Site. It takes its name from the legend of Finn McCool and it draws people from far and wide. This natural phenomena, made completely of basalt columns, is one of the most unusual sights to see in the United Kingdom. It's interesting to note that while the majority of these columns are hexagonal, some do have four, five, seven, or even eight sides. Thanks for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video and found it informative. If so, don't forget to like, share, and comment.